Okay everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at this iron farm for Minecraft Education Edition 1.18. I've scoured the net and this is the best one. In your inventory you're going to need the following items. You can pause the video here or just look at the description for these items. We're going to build a 5x9 square hole going down into the ground. We're going to fly down to the bottom of this hole and the bottom two layers we're going to expand those out by one block in all directions. Then we're going to take a load of beds, 20 in total, and we're going to put two down on each wall just like so and then we're gonna put some more beds down we're gonna put five here and then we're going to do the same on the other side leaving this little corridor of beds in the middle and then that little corridor of beds we're gonna fill with two more and it will leave this little island in the middle there we're gonna put some blocks in there any blocks you like I've used quartz anything that's not flammable should do the job and we're gonna put one in the middle just there and we're going to put one on top of it. I'm going to use that as a platform to build out from. And we're going to cover up all of those beds, leaving no gaps, just like so. Then we're going to dig out one of the walls, six blocks, and just like that shape. And we're going to fill that shape with fletching tables there. And the same on the other side, digging out those six blocks, placing the fletching tables down so it's symmetrical, like so. The other two walls, there's something very similar going on. Four fletching tables in this shape here, and the same on that fourth remaining wall. There we go. We're going to put down 20 villagers. Any with green coats like this, we're going to get rid of those. They are a problem. And once that is full of 20 villagers, we're going to start covering this up as well, again with our quartz, just like so. Now, I got a bit carried away, and I had to go back in and put a little torch there. So try and get a torch in there before you cover them up. There you go, keep them safe. Then the rest, everything above that, we're gonna expand out again by one block in all directions. It should look like this. Then we're gonna place on two of the corners, we're gonna place a block there and next to it just there. And then our water bucket gets placed on top of those and those placeholder blocks we can destroy those now and it should leave this one little square over there where we're going to be funneling in our iron golems from that one dry square we're going to knock through slightly and we are going to dig down a couple of squares here just on the edge of this box and then into that box is going to be our double chest and then we're going to dig down on our dry square, I'll call it, and place a hopper. The hopper should be placed like this. So if we shift click on the end of the double chest, you can see that it kind of connects to the chest. That's good. Then we can build a little kind of passageway back up to the surface so that we can access our loot without getting burnt by the lava. That would be good. Now this last bit, uh, we're nearly there. We're going to place a block above the double chest and a slab as well. Then. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and place some three blocks behind it to dry that bit out, stand on there and then we're going to get a sign and place it on the slab and then one to the right of the block there above that double chests and one to the left, good stuff. Then we're going to fill this gap with a block and put a fence on top of it, open, the, oh no, we'll put a sign on top of the fence and then open the fence. Oh, we have to shift click to get that sign on there, a little bit tricky. And then let's get rid of those blocks and put our lava on the quartz block there. And that's basically your iron farm done. As you can see, they start funneling in. And uh, I'm going to show you the loot that I managed to collect from this. Like I said, this was the best one I could find that worked for Minecraft Education Edition. And it works really well. There's the iron golem going in. And then if I shoot over to the other side, where my chests are, you'll see my loot in there. Guys, thanks for watching the video, and I will see you all later in the week.